Logic and accuracy testing. Would you be more likely to vote in this upcoming municipal election if all it took was a few clicks or taps on your smartphone? More municipalities are offering the option of online voting, but Toronto still isn't one of them. Our chief technology officer and our chief information security officer uh, and the clerk are all of the view that internet voting is not a secure method of voting at this current stage of uh, implementation, and uh, we have chosen not to use it for both security and accessibility. Reasons. Deputy City Clerk Fiona Murray isn't ruling out future use of the technology. It's just not clear how soon that could be. But according to the Association of Municipalities of Ontario, the number of communities offering online or phone voting this election has increased by 24 percent compared to 2018. Vaughan is one of those cities giving it a try for the first time. You can vote from the comfort of home or on the go. There's, there's many benefits to online voting. It's secure, it's accessible, it's convenient. City Clerk Todd Cole says online voting takes just a few minutes, but is available only during the advanced voting period, which in Vaughan runs until October 20th. Residents will see an assigned PIN on their voter information card, which they can plug into the city's election website in order to cast a virtual ballot. Coles assures residents it's safe and says consultants on internet voting and IT security helped advise the city on how to do it. What's to prevent somebody from, you know, using somebody else's card and then, you know, voting on their behalf? You wouldn't be able to know if that happens, would you? Well, it's against the law. Uh, it's, it's an offense under the Municipal Elections Act to, uh, to vote when you're not entitled to vote. We also have security measures built into the internet voting platform that will identify irregularities, and we would certainly uh, take any voter fraud uh, very seriously. But does online voting ultimately have any impact on voter turnout? In 2018, turnout in Toronto was just 41 percent. In Vaughan, 27 percent. Experience tells us that internet voting has a small impact in terms of overall, overall turnout. Um, the experience has generally been around a 1 or 2 percent increase in voter turnout. So, no, uh, it, it was not the driving factor as to, as to why we, uh, we recommended internet voting for this election. John Beebe heads the Democratic Engagement Exchange at Toronto Metropolitan University and says increasing voter turnout is about more than simply making the process easier. What we know through our research is that the reason participation rates aren't higher is not because voting is difficult. In the 2019 federal election before the pandemic, it took seven minutes to vote. Super simple. In municipal elections, it's often quicker than that. Um, so let's focus really on the issue of engaging people in substantive conversations about the issues that they care about with candidates who speak to them. In Toronto, Erica Nativi Dad, City News.